today we're learning about functions. A function is a special relationship between two sets of information. The first set of information is made up of inputs. An input is the information we already know. A function always has a rule that the inputs follow. After the rule is applied to the inputs, the result is called the output. These outputs are the second set of information. For the relationship to be considered a function, each input must have exactly one output. We can think about functions like a vending machine. When I press a button on a vending machine, something comes out. On this machine, there are four buttons. The buttons I decide to press represent the inputs. I'm putting information into the vending machine, the choice I'm making. The machine takes that information and applies the rule by telling the mechanics what to do. Then it delivers the outputs, the items that come out. I hope something good comes out. Let's say I press the first button and out pops a can of cola. Someone else comes up and presses the second button and gets a water bottle. The third button is pressed and a juice box comes out. And then another person presses the fourth button and they get a pineapple. We can see that when each button is pressed, exactly one type of item comes out. So each input has exactly one output. This is what it means to be a function. Let's take a look at another vending machine together. On this machine, when the first button is pressed, a candy bar comes out. What is the input? The input is the information we put into the machine, which is the button pressed. The output is the candy bar. Next, the second button is pressed, and a bag of cheesy crackers comes out. Right now we have two different inputs, and they each have a unique output. Is this vending machine an example of a function? This is an example of a function, because so far, every input has exactly one output. If I press button number one, I'll only get a candy bar every single time. And if I press button number two, the only thing that will come out is cheesy crackers. Let's keep going. When the third button is pressed, we get red licorice. So far, is this still an example of a function? So far, each input has exactly one output. So this is still an example of a function. Let's press the fourth button. When the fourth button is pressed, another bag of cheesy crackers comes out of the vending machine. Now, both the second and fourth buttons have the same output, bags of yummy cheesy crackers. So is this vending machine still an example of a function? We know that to be a function, each input needs to have exactly one output. Let's see if this is still true. How many outputs does button two have? Button two has exactly one output, cheesy crackers. How many outputs does button four have? Button four has exactly one output, cheesy crackers. It's okay that these two inputs share the same output. Even if every button on this machine produced a bag of cheesy crackers, it would still be a function, as long as each input produces exactly one output. So this vending machine is an example of a function. Together, let's decide if this vending machine is an example of a function. Pressing the first button gives us a book. What is the output? The input is the button pressed, and the output is what comes out of the machine, the book. When we press the second button, we get a pack of gum. Looking at the information we have so far, is the vending machine an example of a function? So far, each input has exactly one output, so it is a function. Let's keep going. When the third button is pressed, a rubber duck comes out. That's a different input and output. So, still a function. Another person presses the third button and gets a rubber duck. This is still a function. Button three still only has one type of item coming out, a rubber ducky. Then someone else comes up and presses the second button again, but they get a water bottle. How many outputs does button two have? We see here that pressing button two first gave the output of gum and then gave another output, a water bottle so the input has two outputs. Is the vending machine an example of a function? The input, button two, does not have exactly one output. It has at least two, 
but we can't be sure what is going to come out of the machine when we press the second button. So this vending machine is not an example of a function. Maybe it's broken. Use what you've learned to determine, is this vending machine an example of a function? Input 2 and 4 both produce bags of trail mix, but button 2 only has an output of trail mix, and button 4 only has an output of trail mix. So, since each input gives exactly one output, or one type of item, this vending machine is a function. Determine on your own. Is this vending machine an example of a function? You can see that button 4 is pressed two times. The first time, the output is a bottle of sparkling water. The second time, the output is iced tea. This input, button 4, gives two different outputs. So this vending machine is not an example of a function. That's all for now. Thanks for building your math muscles with us.